What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 19 of Autodesk Fusion. Uh, working on something uh, today that I don't think I'm actually going to use in my classroom too often. But, um, like uh, I said at the very beginning of this whole journey, I want to learn the ins and outs of every single piece of Autodesk Fusion. And then at the end of the video, I'll explain why I'm not going to use some of these pieces uh, later on. So what we got here is um, we're doing ribs. And ribs are this structural design and engineering to help reinforce uh, a substance. You often find the inside of toys um, where plastic ribs help it, the, the toy from you know twisting or rotating or cracking. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through just a basic rib, how to do an offset rib, and then you can do something pretty funky. So let's go ahead and start with a new piece. And what I'm going to do overall is just create my body. Um, I thought about maybe making a Nerf gun or something like that. Um, but uh, just for the sake of not spending too much, too, too much time on a particular video, I want you to be able to recreate everything I do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a simple L shape here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just extrude that whole thing back quite a distance. So this would be my body that I am going to throw some ribs on. And here's how you do ribs. It's the, the sequence I think is, is pretty counterintuitive. So I'm going to click on offset plane and I'm going to put a sketch plane that my rib is going to go uh, parallel with. And so here's what I mean by that. I'm going to start a sketch on this offset plane. I'm going to over here on the right side, I'm going to click slice graphics. And then I'm going to draw my the very outside edge of my rib. And then click OK. And then um, very easily from there, we can figure out how to use a rib. So I'm going to go over to create, click on rib, and then click on my line that I want to um, make a rib out of. And then we can just then pick our thickness from there. Boom, we have our rib. Um, however, there's some interesting features in ribs, uh, tinkering around with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another sketch, offset from plane. We're going to do this uh, again. So I'm going to go a little bit further in. Click OK. Click on Create a Sketch. And it's in my way, so I'm going to click Slice Graphics again. Uh, I'm going to draw a line. But what I'm going to do is change those settings to create a rib that doesn't go all the way through. So I'm going to go to Create rib click on that line but then there's some uh, settings over here on the right side uh, we can do um, to depth and this allows me so I can pick the depth and um, the thickness of my rib so in case for some reason there might be cabling or wiring running through a web uh, you can or sorry uh, through a rib you can um, draw these pretty easily now, uh, I did tinker around with it and try, what if you just did something off the wall crazy? Can I draw a rib that is not a usual shape? And uh, Fusion will let you do that. So instead, I'm just going to do something really funky and just spline some lines. Now, I'm sure there is a uh, potential use for this. I couldn't quite think of one yet. But I'm going to click on this rib, and the way that the ribs work, I believe, is actually a uh, embedded sweep command. So uh, it very particularly has some uh, geometry about it that I think it's a sweep along a rectangular path. Um, and then you can, you know, increase your thickness there and do just something, some really fun stuff if you want to uh, with ribs. Now the reason I probably won't um, teach my students particularly to use this too much, I imagine they're going to at this point be really comfortable with subtractive modeling. So I think they would just throw in that piece in there by itself and just extrude it out and essentially get the same, uh, same effect done. Uh, but uh, lo and behold, we have figured out ribs and how they work, and um, that'll be it for this video. Alrighty guys, I will see you on the next one. Take care.